Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I figured I would do a little weekend in my life for you guys. We're about to head to dinner. We're going to La Picor Bianca, which we've both been dying to go to. Um, they have really good pasta, so I'm excited to take you guys along with us. But before we go, I'm just gonna show you guys my outfit quickly because Uber's on its way and we gotta get out of here. Hey guys, so this is my outfit. I'm wearing my favorite jeans that you guys always see me wear from Zara. Paired it with my Gucci heels that Jay actually got me for my birthday and I just haven't had the chance to wear them yet so finally get to wear them tonight and then this blazer that I think was in my Zara spring haul from a few months ago so definitely check that out it has all the links and then I paired it with this little fluffy purse so I will catch up with you guys when we get there because like I said we have like 15 minutes to make it there and this is Jay's outfit looking so handsome before we go I just want to show you guys look how beautiful these flowers are for Jay, date night for date night Thank you, chicken. Yeah, I love them. I'm obsessed with this color. It's beautiful. And I normally don't even really like pink, but this is like the perfect peachy like summer color. So yeah, now we have to go. <laughs> honestly didn't really do much um i was supposed to get my nails done this morning but then we just decided that i had to let my nails breathe a bit because basically i always go to the same nail tech and she's the best but i needed to have my acrylic soft in order to get a new set because she wasn't gonna have enough time to like do it so i went to just some random place by me which my fault like i shouldn't have done that and literally look at my nails terrible so she was like let's just wait a month like let your oh simba um let your nails breathe and then we will um do it again next month so for the next month this is how my nails are gonna look so just warning you guys um but yeah then we basically came home and jay and i well no we went to home goods for a bit so i'll show you guys a haul in a few but then we came home and jay and i were honestly like just both of us had no idea what we wanted to do today. Like this is normally like I have things planned or he'll have things planned like throughout the week like in advance. So then like when it's the weekend, we already know what we're doing. And we didn't do that at all this weekend. So we we're basically both just sitting here staring at each other like, well, what do you want to do? Well, what do you want to do? Well, what do you want to do? And we we're like, okay, we're never doing this again. Like I like that we're normally um, prepared and have things planned because I hate like just dealing with that like we were doing that for the past three hours but now it's basically almost five o'clock and we're like you know what let's just enjoy a little bit of this beautiful day it did get a bit cloudier but hopefully like well, by the time we get to central park it'll be you know a bit sunnier in some parts but basically jay just went to get some snacks packing up the bag and then we're gonna head over to central park i also have to go to sephora to exchange this um Giorgio Armani that I had I like the foundation but I just don't think this is the right color for me like I could this is I'm not wearing it right now but I feel like when I put it on my skin was looking kind of gray so I feel like the girl gave me the wrong color so I think I'm just gonna go in and maybe get seven this is 6.5 so I used to wear nine in the summer so obviously like I'm not getting asked tan right now. So I think maybe 7 or 7.5, but we'll see. Um let me show you guys what I'm wearing. Nothing fancy at all. So I'm wearing basically what is this called? Like a gray outfit, like a gray outfit, whatever. They're not even the same gray, but I don't even really care. It's fine. Like I wasn't expecting to really go anywhere. So this was like I said really last minute. But these um sweats are from Misguided. This sweater 
I think it's actually from Target. I think I have them like in a few different colors and they're super comfortable. I highly recommend. And then same sneakers as always. And then my Prada purse. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm wearing. Just going to wait for Jay to come back. And then I will catch up with you guys when we are at Central Park for wherever we're going to go. Basically, we'll just see what, where the day takes us and bring you guys along. What up, guys? I took over Sierra's vlog. We, uh... <laughs> Decided to hop onto an Uber and get into the city, go to Central Park real quick. We didn't go to the place where like everyone goes because there was way too many people to the point that it looked like a party and the people weren't even sitting, so. Yeah, so, we're although, in our own area. although we're vaccinated, I don't know, it's still nice to kind of like have space for people. At least yeah. that's how I feel. I don't want to go back to not being six feet apart from people. <laughs> yeah, too bad we can't do that on the subway too much, but you no, know, we found a nice little spot. We got Sierra here, we got with the little sunset. We got a little bit of the bridge view and still can see some of the skyline, so it's pretty perfect to me. Got my best friend, my best date, one person I love, some water, some Cheetos, which is a necessity, some grapes, and we're just gonna hang out. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the guys who made this game, Deeper Connections. <laughs> I bought it on Amazon to bring with us to Mexico so we'd have something like the little play there. But we ended up bringing it today and it's fun. You get like little prompts so you could like ask each other about like what was your first car even though she still has her first car so that was pretty <laughs> easy. But like little things like what's the worst thing you ever got in trouble for which I actually technically already knew. So I actually could answer a lot of these. What is something that you feel grateful for? No on Simba, bang, easy. <laughs> Look at this, I'm just gonna keep crushing out. What t TV show could you binge watch all day? Depends what oh, show. I, if you, you should know. For when? It depends what point in your life, though. This is like the show I've, this is the only show I've seen several times. The only one. Sex in the City? Yeah. So yes, come on. Like Gossip Girl, I've gone through like a few episodes, but I don't think yeah. I've rewatched it fully. This is so easy. If you could solve one problem in the world right now, what would it be? Bam, racism. Dang. <laughs> easy. Seriously. Easy. What do you value more, honesty or kindness? For Sierra, honesty. <laughs> How do you define success? Millions in the bank. That's what Sierra defines. <laughs> you don't want to like call on you out right now? Yeah, Look, yeah. we don't even need to play this. Which celebrity do you think you could be BFF if you, if you ever met? Beyonce or Michelle Obama? Let's BFFs go. With? No, they're like my role model. They could be BFFs. You could still be BFFs with them. BFFs? I don't know. I don't think it could be them. Like, Fine. Who? Like my role model. Then who? I guess I didn't know this one. I don't know. I'm trying to think now. Who would I want to be like? What's yours? BFFs with? The guys in uh, Entourage, you would be friends with them. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Yeah. I would say the people in Sex and the City, I feel like I would be friends with, but they're like a lot older than me, so I'm trying to think of people more my age. I don't know. And Zoe Deschanel and uh... She's like 40 something, I think. Oh, uh, true. I don't know then. I'm trying to think who my age. I mean, there's a lot of like YouTubers I feel like I could be, like I would Vibe with. Vibe with. But True. In terms of celebrities, I don't know. I did pretty well, I'm just gonna say. Yeah. So. Let's see if I can even get any for you. What food do you wish you could cook like a world's class chef? Chinese food. Yeah, if I could like really chef that up, that'd be sick. Past, what was your first car? Oh, I don't even know. You were in it. Know? Yeah, you were in it. I know, I don't. What was it? That Civic. I know it was a Honda. I just that said. Honda Civic yeah. I used to have. Uh, let's see. Who is your favorite actor or actress? Favorite actor or actress? I feel like I should know who this. The only person I remember is like something Bomer, Matt Bomer. Oh, he's a good looking guy. He's not my favorite actor though. Oh. oh, one of the guys in like those mob movies. Mm -hmm. Nah, my, my favorite actor probably is Ed Norton, to be honest with you. When have we ever seen a movie with him in there together? Never. Uh, I've tried to show you Ed Norton movies, but you know, I never wanted to. Yeah, I don't like watching like older movies. I want to show her American History X, Rounders. Oh, you've seen a movie with him, Fight Club. Oh, yeah. You've seen a movie with him, he's in that. Okay, how did your parents choose your name? Isn't it just after... Oh, no, actually, not after There's two after stories. your grandpa. Yeah. There you go.
stopped at Sephora on the way home because I had to exchange one of my foundations to get like a better tone. Sorry if you hear growling, my dogs are literally right here fighting over the same toy as usual. But I wanted to. <laughs> hey guys, stop! But I wanted to show you guys what I got from Home Goods earlier today. I didn't really record much because we kind of just went to my parents and then went to Home Goods. Like we weren't really planning on it. So let me just get into everything. The first thing I got was this Purity Lab My Sanctuary Scented Soy Candle. This thing is huge, as you can tell. Oh, you like it, Simba? Look how big this is. This is literally like the size of my head. Um, it says it's rose, gardenia, and bergam. I don't know how to say that. Some spice. But the way this smells, do you want to smell it? A little smell? Mmm, it smells good, right? Okay, before he tries to eat it. But I saw this and I had to have it. I wish it had different packaging, but unfortunately, oh my goodness. I'm just gonna try to eat it. Okay, I don't know if this smell is like bad for them or anything. Basically, I saw that and I smelled it and it smelled amazing. Unfortunately, the packaging isn't really the best, I feel, but it's fine. It smells amazing and I'm sure that'll last a long time. Over here, I have the rest of the bag. Oh, thank you for giving me this. Do you want this? Here. Go get it. The next thing I purchased was a new toothbrush holder we had a similar one but jay just like thank you <laughs> thank you no. but jay honestly just dirtied it so we just need to get a new one i always love getting these from home goods because they're not really expensive and they're good quality the next thing we purchased was also another just you know something we needed and this is to put your sponges and then like you know if you have one of those brushes to get like into like water bottles and such so i figured this would look good um on top of the, I'm like blanking right now because I'm starving. Um, right next, I'll like by the sink, you know what I mean. So we just had to get one of those. The real reason we went to Home Goods was to get a new pot. We threw out some of our old ones. You know those like non-stick ones that end up like if you use the wrong, like if you don't use a non-stick spatula and stuff, they get messed up. Well, Jay definitely ruined ours, which is fine. Like I've had those since I was in college. So it was like, it's time for us to upgrade a bit, not anything crazy eventually we'll get like those fancy ones but for now we just got this size one which is kind of i guess like a medium size and what i like is that it has the measurements inside there so i thought that was really nice and then jay said that that wasn't small enough for when he wants to make like i guess rice or beans because we don't really eat that much of it so i got another one which is smaller this one is non-stick but It'll be fine. He'll figure it out. <laughs> and last but not least, my favorite thing that I got is this evil eye. So our plan is to hang this above our door so when people leave, they see this. I'm sorry if you hear a lot of noise because this is what she's doing. Like, can't do anything. Nala, come on. She's just licking the bag. But anyways, like I said, we're going to put this above the door. I thought it was really cute. And, you know, I really believe in, like, the evil eye and all that stuff. So I don't want any negative energy or any of that stuff in this household. So once I saw this, I had to grab it. So that's everything that I got at Home Goods. We weren't really expecting to go, like I said. So these were just, like, some small items we needed. We really just spent the rest of the day at Central Park and had a great time. There was tons of people there, like, a little bit too many people not in the area we were in but like one of the more popular areas it looked like there was like a party there so we didn't want to stay over there even though we're vaccinated but still probably just gonna make some shrimp fajitas jay loves my shrimp fajitas and i just think they're really easy to make not you know that unhealthy so i think i'll probably make that and maybe watch a movie i saw this movie um a clip of this movie on tiktok and it was so interesting so if we <laughs> They didn't even, they thought it was someone else. You scared them. Guys, he had one job. <laughs> I almost fell. <laughs> one job, and look what happened. I didn't drop it though. I almost fell, but I caught it. Guys, tell me this is some sign of bad luck because no, now no, I'm it's scared. Not, it's not. But I did, I almost fell, and I caught myself, and I caught this. So Ignore his bandaid. He has problems, honestly. Yeah. He he always cuts his fingers when he cooks, so I got him this specific. Close, guys, look at this specific knife I got him. Where it just chops. Let me take the safety off. Where it just chops like this, so he doesn't have to use his finger. And then how did you hurt it? The door closed on my finger. 
Right, because that's something that happens all the time. That just happened. All hey right. guys, leave a comment down below and tell me if there's something I should do if this is some no, sort of bad luck. Because now, phone. well, you dropped it, so it'd be for you. I'll return, I'll return it. Yeah, but everybody looks out for me, so it's okay. Hmm. You guys, look, it even had an elephant, which we didn't even know when we purchased I'll, it. I'm going to go to home and get some. Uh, <laughs> Sad times. Okay, guys, remember how I told you that I got new lighting in the kitchen? <gasps> look how nice it looks. It literally makes everything look so much brighter, so much nicer. So, cooking videos are about to be a lot better, elevated. Watch out. <laughs>